Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. So I'm just going to uh, fill up the greenhouses first of all. We have quite a bit of water in the tanker. Whatever is left in the tanker will have to be emptied in the future so that we can transport milk to the dairy. But we don't need to worry about emptying it today. Just going to make sure everything is topped up. So yes, we're still in June for a very short period of time. As you can see, we only have £264 in the bank account. That is going to change in a minute because today is the day when the eggs are quite high. It's not They're not maxed out. It's not the best ever. Um, but because we generate so many of them, uh, we can afford to sell them now. And it is the second best peak of the year. So it's the second best month to actually sell them. So I need to get everything loaded up. Obviously, our two big trailers are taken with sugar. Um, but we do still have the car trailer, which is just here. The pickup truck trailer. And yes, I have had the request to replace this pickup truck. So I think, um, well, obviously we can't do it before we sell the eggs, but afterwards we could definitely, we could definitely do that. So I think, uh, first of all, let's just load the eggs up and uh, go from there. We do have a lot. There are plenty to fit onto here. We can put probably three, three in the pickup truck if we stack. Um, but I'm not going to go showing all of this in a time lapse or in real time because I've done it so many times before. So, in a second, all of these will be loaded up. There we go, and I've just popped a partial pallet into the truck. You notice another one has just spawned. Uh, there'll be next to nothing there, though. Uh, that can be sold when the price is super good. Um, we do also have a honey pallet, which we're not selling, but it does need to be moved. I was going to get the mod which allows you to have several pallets in the spawn point, but actually, as it turns out, it doesn't matter, we just move them and another one will appear. So, um, yeah, obviously it's a good mod. Makes it easy, you don't have to wait, but I think in the moment I can probably get by with what we currently have. And now for this one, it doesn't look like much, but actually I have loads of pallets stacked down the side, so actually there's even more. <laughs> we have all of this. So this is going to be um, quite a full load when we're finished. And there we go. So the price, I believe, is best at the bakery. They don't take much, but we can still take some to there. Weird, did that slide? Hmm, I don't think all the straps are over. <laughs> uh, luckily, it's all on board now, so that's the most eggs I've ever taken in one go. I'm pretty sure of it. So, first stop, the bakery, then on to the farm shop. And the farm shop is still a good price, it's about £3,300 for a thousand litres. So we can go the back way, just through here. It is quite unstable, very heavy. 28,000 litres. The trailer's words are actually sinking into the ground, that's how heavy it is. So I'd expect maybe three or four thousand pounds from here. Oh, seven, very nice. And in it goes. This is going to be good. Uh, the butter is not going to go in today though. June is the worst month for butter. We'll sell it when it's considerably better. Um, so yeah, almost £100,000. We already had the 7.5. So it was it was pretty much um, 94200 ish Very, very good. So let's get back to the store. And we'll take a look at our replacement pickup truck. Been good though, this pickup truck. Almost six hours we've uh, used it for, or driven it for. How much can we get for it? A fair amount, actually. We'll make it all nice and fresh. 26,293. And into the car category, and you can see we have the TLX 2020 series by 82 Studio. Now we want to have the correct bed. Uh, basically we want to have like a flatbed so that we can put our pallets onto it. So there's going to be quite a few things to change here. Crikey. Um, yes, obviously we can change things further down the line if we're not happy with what I go for. It's pretty fancy, isn't it? We'll go with that. Uh, probably going to cost me a fair amount of money. So we'll set up. I think the best one for me there is... 
I'm not even gonna look at the what it says on the right hand side. I'm gonna go with what I think looks the best. Yeah, I think that's my favourite. Standard three, okay. Um, vinyls. I think we're gonna go without. Cab lights. Not entirely sure where I'm looking here for this one. But again, it doesn't really bother me what we go for. Uh, window tint. Yeah, we'll go with dark. Yep, love dark. Now, attaches. Standard plow mount. I think it might. It's something we can add later. Yeah, it's nice that we can fit a plow to it. Uh, right, engine horsepower. We'll go for the biggest. The tuned V8, 6.7 litre. Now the colour. Um, I like green, but I don't think I would like a green vehicle. Then again, it doesn't look too bad. I think we might go for blue. So we have um, Phoenix Blue, Blue Gloss, Blue New Age, and aged. I think, um, let's see here. Yeah, I actually think the aged look looks the best. I am strange though. So next up we need to have something fairly simple. What should we go with? I might just go with a, yeah. I don't think a bicolour scheme, for me, is uh, what I'm looking for. Right, okay, chrome. Definitely chrome. For rim colour. And I think we're actually done here. Wheel brand. <laughs> uh, that was such an upgrade, it bounced. Mudding. Very nice. Off-road. High performance, was it? Sport, basic. Um, I actually do like those off-road ones. I think that'd be pretty good. Did it reset anything? I don't think it did. Should have done that first though anyway. Um, so yeah, we'll go with that. £50,520. Um, but of course that's not all. We also do need to have the bed. And as you can see, we have a fantastic selection here. It's even a liquid tanker. Wow. Uh, right, so I think the best thing to go for here is... Um, whoa, you can... It's got a beaver tail, so you can actually put vehicles or something in it, like a quad bike. Yeah, I think this one here. The trail boss is also good. But I think I'm going to go for the flatbed. So if I just choose... Sorry for dithering, by the way. I think I'm going to go with diamond plate and we'll have both a strobe bar and the lights main colour, yeah, very happy with the default it's £4,000 so let's take a look and see what we've bought can't wait to see this <laughs> oh, this is great um, I take it we oh no, tow bar is that fitted to the bed. It is. Phew. I was worried for a second. But then I thought, no wait, you wouldn't have a pickup truck without a tow bar. This is perfect. What an upgrade. Strobes. Oh yes. Now we can really party. Oh that's brilliant. So yeah, obviously I do do that when it comes to choosing different things, but I wanted to do this on, on camera because I didn't want to uh, overlook anything. I wanted you to see what I was choosing. So let's really now appreciate the vehicle that we have purchased. Not cheap, but it's quality. Um, so yeah, I'm never going to get bored of those strobes, but <laughs> I'm going to have to turn them off at some point. Uh, we've got good lights. This is perfect. Plus we can uh, have a fifth wheel trailer. We'll probably have to upgrade because this trailer 
is getting a bit on the small side plus it's a bit low as you can see the wheels are off the ground well the front wheels are so um yeah unfortunately we don't actually have a job for it today um we do have a top speed of 127 best to achieve that on a tarmac road rather than just flooring it around the farm there we go yeah this is great love the tires too what do you think a great purchase I would say a massive upgrade for the farm I will park it just over here for now I wish we could have bought it before we sold the eggs but as you saw we just we just couldn't so there's always next time and there will be next time for now though we need to rest we need to get into July time needs to progress go to 9 a.m. as usual and there we are July good weather I want to know how the barley is getting on right so that has definitely grown a substantial amount over the previous month so that's good news the canola is the canola ready if it is ready we need to get it harvested okay not quite um, which doesn't actually leave a huge amount. We do need to spread some manure on the grass field over here. But other than that, and feeding the animals, there isn't actually anything else to do in July. Which I know sounds surprising. But yeah, until the crops are ready to harvest, we are pretty much stuck. Is that fully grown? I don't think it is. We should be able to put an application onto that. Um, what I don't want to do is... Let's just see here. It is ready to harvest. Oh, crikey. I was too slow. I might be wrong, but I don't think you can apply manure to a fully grown grass field. So, yeah, that's... Um, I think what we'll do is we'll just quickly check up on the animals, make sure everybody is happy. So chickens have food. Sheep have food. Cows do need another mixture, really, and some straw. And they're okay as well. So that's what I'll do. I'll very quickly make a feed mixture. And then we're going to move on to August. Okay, and because we already had some in there, I don't know how much of the silage we're going to need. I would expect it to take all of it, really, because uh, I normally put three bells in. We only had just over 2,000 litres left in. Um, can just about make them out there, <laughs> just disappearing. Still filling. Looks pretty full. Uh, if that's not full, it must be about 98%. This will be interesting to see. 97%, but well, it's never what I say. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's good enough. So we now have another good mixture for the future. Uh, well, in a few minutes' time, actually, when we move on to August. They do have enough food at the moment, though. The trough is totally full. So it's now just the straw. I'll go and park this in the enclosure, in, in the feed area. 
I need to get the fence tractor ready for the shredder. Okay, so that's good there. My fence tractor is here, busy with the pruners. Soon to be full time though, over in the olive grove again. I think I did fully empty it, I seem to remember. So I'll bring three bales across. Technically it has a capacity of two, but you can you can try and uh, get three into it. Um, so yes, we'll be getting more straw when we harvest the barley. The previous episode was very good for the hay. Lots and lots of hay. Okay, so this front one only has two in it. Not a huge issue. Um, I think I will just stack on top. And then just go to here. Should be fine. And September is getting closer and closer. September is significant because that is when we sell the sugar. I don't think the factory will have finished though. I don't think we're going to finish making sugar by September. Um, so the price is likely going to plummet after that. So we'll probably be selling. Might sell some in October, but otherwise next year again. But the more we can sell this year, the better. Right, so this will go on for some time. We, we do have a lot to shred. And there we go. So we shredded uh, two full ones and some of the uh, the one here, the third one, 18% of the third one. So that's uh, that's good, we'll leave that there. Everything should be looking so good on here. Yep, soon we'll be taking another load of milk to the dairy, although the dairy can't really keep up. It is struggling. Maybe um, we should get another dairy, because the other dairy which we can place has the chocolatier, I believe. Um, we can actually use the sugar then as well to make chocolate. So, yes, it has almost 40,000 liters. It definitely can't keep up. Anyway, let's um, let's get back over to the house. That's a greenhouse. Don't want to be sleeping in there. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I didn't expect to be passing the months so quickly, but this is definitely the end of it. We have lots of harvesting to do. August, I think, is going to be an extremely busy month. Uh, potentially even the month when we do the grapes as well. Soon find out. Um, right, so the canola is ready. We have the canola. I'm surprised by everything else, although um, because seasonal growth is now switched off, maybe things will ripen during the day. I don't know. Good weather though, and that is uh, very close to uh, the final growth stage. Just needs to go golden. Yeah, so common harvesters, we don't actually have one. That has been the situation throughout the past 20 episodes, I would say. And it's a small field, so we don't we still don't need one. But eventually we will do. <laughs> when we actually have the spare money, we'll buy one. Um, so this is perfectly adequate. We don't even need a trailer, because we're just putting it into the factory next door. Okay. Let's go and do some harvesting. Don't need a header trailer either. There must be a lot of furniture ready now. And cheese and butter. Looking good. Yeah, so when we do buy a combine harvester eventually, um, I would like to go for a mod. Although the ones in the base game are very good. But just to do something different, 
just try something different. Although there might not be that many mods yet for combine harvesters. Okay, right, so no idea how many tank loads we're going to get out of this. I'd sort of expect one. It is only canola. Uh, you don't get loads and loads like you do with wheat and barley and oats. So we'll just see. Just see how we do. And it is the final time that we harvest this field with a combine. It's not going to be done like this anymore because we're going to be getting an extension to the olive grove. It's going to be extended across uh, to actually where the, um, the crop ends over there. But I don't think it's going to be going quite as high up the field towards the trees. It's very uneven. We do need the space for the other harvesters to turn around. Plus any kind of uh, equipment like the muck spreader, which goes up between the, the rows. Um, yes, that has to be able to fit up here. But it's going to be good. We're going to have a lot of olives. And really, I would prefer to buy the olive harvester than I would to buy a combine harvester. I, th I think it probably is better for us just to rent them. Although we might still rent everything, all the harvesters, because they're so extravagant. Right, so considering we've made it to the top and we're already 20% full, it's looking likely that we're going to get more than one tank load great to see. Well, we're almost there. First low is about 75%, I think, maybe a bit more. 77, possibly. Uh, next load is going to be about the same. So it was over a full combine load. Let's just call it a tank and a half. Uh, which I think, really, is pretty good. I was expecting about one tank load, so that's great. And we can now start the production up, so we can start producing the canola oil. Where's the end? Never ending. There it is. We have finished the last combinable crop in this field. Um, so yeah, as soon as we get rid of the vineyard, we're going to be placing the olive grove here. It's basically instead of, so it's not going to cost us any money. I need to roughly place the same amount of olive groves as what we have vineyards, which will probably fill that area. Um, although we've actually paid for an hour of rental, we've only used this for 0.2. It's just the way it is. Right, so whilst that is unloading, what I need to do is go into the production tab, which is just here, and I need to find canola oil, activate, and there we go. So that is now creating the canola oil. Two litres of canola to one litre of oil. Pretty good. 7,540 litres, uh, pretty much in total. So I can now return these. Very handy to have. And what I want to do is go over to the spinnery to see what we've created. We had one pallet at the end of the previous episode, and now we have two. And the next one is getting close. Yep, 844. So we're going to have three very soon. And yeah, it doesn't look like much, but these are very expensive. We don't need to rush into it just yet, but I do want to buy the tailor shop, which is just that. It's £100,000. Everything about the fabric is expensive. Um, but yeah, I don't think we can place it on this existing site. It does have to be down 
in one of our fields. So eventually we might have to build on field number 42, but that's not a problem because we'll be buying more fields elsewhere, uh, like field number 37. In fact, it might. Oh, yes. Yes, maybe on here because it's not that level, but we can level it. So that grass area might be really good for all the different placeables, different productions. And finally, the carpentry. Um, yes, it looks like we have got quite a few. What does it say we've got to spawn? We will see. I think there's one more to spawn. So that's pretty good because these are worth about five or six thousand pounds each. So we'll sell them when the price is really good. Yep, so there we go. That's all very good news. We'll sell them in the future. Best time for selling furniture is... Well, it's not bad now, actually. Ah, it is now. Oh, it, it's gone. No! Right. So we do have a job for the pickup truck. Brilliant. There's no point missing out on the deal. It'll be another year before the price is good. It's not the best. It is going down, but it's still very good. Anything over 6,000 is considered fantastic. Uh, so we need our strobes on for absolutely no reason at all. Very important. Whoa! Well, there we go. Celebratory strobe light. Cracky, that is bright. <laughs> Imagine that in the dark. Uh, right. So this goes to the farm shop as well. What have we got? Pretty good. 43,316. So we're almost back at £100,000 again. Fantastic news. Okay, right. Well, that will conclude this episode. Pretty good, though. We've made a lot of money today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.